Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping straight into the Sword and Shield, going through every single ability. So to start off, we do have the Shield right here at 550 gear score. We also have the Sword, so the Sword up here at the top, 550 gear score as well. Nothing too special on the attributes or attributes today. We are going to be just rolling with about 137 strength. I have it very balanced based uh, just for testing purposes. If we actually go to the Weapon Mastery, this is where we're going to be selecting all of the Sword and Shield abilities. Starting off with Whirling Blade, deal 145% weapon damage to all foes within 2 meters. Then we jump into Reverse Stab, so this is all under, by the way, the Sword Master section on the left. We have Reverse Stab at 20 second cooldown, a stab that attacks deal 175% weapon damage, so a very, very strong attack, and obviously passives will make this stronger, so Reverse Stab uh, now has Grit, making the attack unstoppable, and then also, if you go on even farther, Tactician on successful hit with Reverse Stab, all sword cooldowns are reduced by 25%, so a lot of these different, uh, you know, ideas of, I guess, passives below the actual ability are very, very strong, so definitely read about those. I'm just going to be, you know, showing you guys the actual abilities today, though. So I'm going to be jumping over to Leaping Strike next. Leap 4 meters and deal 135% weapon damage. Jumping over to the right side now, on the defender side, we have Shield Rush. So rush forward 5 meters, knocking back foes, and dealing 125% weapon damage. Jumping on the left side of that, we have Shield Bash, so deals 50% weapon damage and stuns foes in front of you for 2 seconds. So this is actually taunt gem compatible. If you have a carnelian gem equipped in your sword, this ability causes a 6 second taunt to all enemies hit. So that can be very, very strong as well. We have the Defiant Stance as well on the right side. So for 8 seconds, reduce the incoming base damage from attackers by 30%. Also taunt gem compatible, so this is great for PvE. Obviously, this right side defender is, you know, probably one of the most common, really, uh, PvE tank builds out there. So we see if you have a Carnelian gem equipped in your sword, this ability can cause a six-second taunt to all enemies within eight meters. Taunt causes monsters to focus only on you, obviously, and great, obviously, passives that go along with it that I will let you guys read about yourselves or, you know, in you know, later build guides. We have tons of guides that I will be throwing up on the channel for PvE as well as PvP, but talking about every single passive, uh, you know, every single passive and then showing you them would take quite some time. So I do have all of the abilities selected, so we're going to commit those six points and we're actually going to go through each and every one. So first off, we have that Shield Bash. We're going to go through the, uh, well, let's go through the Sword Master side first, which is going to start us off with Reverse Stab. Next, we have the Whirling Blade, and then, then we have the Leaping Strike. So let's take a look at these abilities and see what they're all about. So starting off with the Reverse Stab is going to be a nice Reverse Stab attack, 892 damage. We're going to the Whirling Blade next. 1057 so a very very strong crit i believe we just got there if we go for a leaping strike now you're going to see a 688 damage so do remember that most people go sword and shield for tank uh you really tank builds for the most part you know you're going to see sword and shield not very commonly being used for damage but it is nice to see that it is possible to actually go that route if you wanted to and then obviously you do have your shield to block with and you aren't going to have any special abilities on this left side with your shield but i do have a kite shield equipped and you could also obviously go the tower shield so let's equip the tower shield and do those abilities again just to see what that looks like so we go up and we do a reverse stab to start 884 we do a whirling blade it did crit again so you are i believe it's an, it's an automatic crit maybe let's go to the sword and shield and double check here so deal 145 percent weapon damage so it is automatically more than that base damage so that's why you're seeing it in uh orange when you hit it i'll hit it one more time here so we can see that okay so it was a crit no i'm lying to you guys it was a crit those uh, you know just back to back very very lucky so the whirling blade was a crit at that 1000 damage we'll do a reverse stab again so no crits on the re reverse stab yet let's do a leaping strike leaping strike did crit there 975 damage and then a whirling blade again 732 without a crit so those are just the three abilities you can actually play with right there if we jump over to the other side of things we have the defender so we're going to start off with the shield bash we're going to go then into the shield uh the, well we have to wait till the cooldowns are back these are fairly long cooldowns like i said reverse stab is actually i believe a 20 second cooldown to start obviously you can change that kind of stuff, and we have Shield Rush at 20 second cooldowns as well. Uh, but then Shield Bash, like I said, a 25 second cooldown. Very, very long cooldown for Shield Bash. Let's jump into a couple of these, though. 
Uh, so like I said, we have uh, this time around on my queue, I'm going to have the Shield Bash, then we're going to have Shield Rush, and then we're going to have Defiant Stance. So first off, we'll start with that uh, Shield Bash. Okay, so you can see the Shield Bash doing 231 damage. The big thing that Shield Bash does is something we always talk about here, is the dealing 50% damage, which is great, but the stun foes in front of you for two seconds is definitely the big part of this. So it's going to be very strong for that CC that you may need in PvP as well as PvE. We also see the Shield Rush, so rush forward 5 meters. So if we actually take a look, we can see 5 meters. Let's see if this actually hits from this distance. It does hit from that distance. Fairly long range right there, like I said, 5 meters. And then we have the F, so Defiant Stance. If we actually do that, you can see that we are buffed up a little bit. And if we actually take a look now at Defiant Stance to give you guys some stats there. 4 8 seconds, reduce the incoming base damage from attackers by 30%. That's a massive buff. Uh, a buff that actually is going to definitely help you out tanking wise and like I said these cooldowns are very very long so let's do these abilities one more time shield bash to start and then let's see if we can actually hit maybe uh, a side rush here with the shield so you can yep and we hit the 580 and obviously fortify comes up and we can actually hover over it if we're fast enough I didn't hover over it in time but you have some great abilities here on the sword and shield definitely like I said Used for tanking in PvE and PvP quite often. You're not going to see these usually used for damage. But let's go through using each one one more time. And then we'll uh, talk about really the different uh, kind of things you can do with Sword and Shield. So we have that Sword Bash. We have the Sword Rush. And then, like I said, Defiant Stance. And you can actually hit Escape and hover over this with your mouse. Incoming damage is reduced by 30%. 30, uh, 30%. So, like I said, very, very strong. And you can, like I said, jump through different Kite Shields as well as Tower Shields. And you can see that there is different Armor Ratings as well as Block Stamina Damage and Overall Damage overall. So, definitely take a look through your different Shields and see which one you know benefits exactly what you're doing in that point in time so those are just a quick overview of the sword and shield abilities like i said you know not too much or too crazy of abilities when it comes to sword and shield pretty basic pretty great understanding of uh you know what really you could do with some of these abilities if you jump through some of these passives you know reverse stab now has grit is huge attack is unstoppable um and you can obviously see with defiant stance a very very strong ability for pvp reducing the base in a really base incoming base damage, I guess, of attackers by 30%. Just, just kind of crazy. So that's going to be a quick overview of the Sword and Shield. Thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.